Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about how you can use an abacus simulation together with M calibration to calibrate the material model using a finite element simulation. And the example I have is of a tension specimen. Say you have something like this and you have tested it uh, using a test machine. And all the information you have from that test is the force displacement response as a function of time. And um, you want to simulate this, this specimen because of clearly the, you don't really know what the strain and stress will be inside the specimen during the test due to the nature of the specimen geometry. So you need to create a finite element simulation of your specimen and then use that from M calibration. And that's what I'm going to talk about here, how you can do this fully automatically and without any Python scripting whatsoever. Um, so let's get started. The, the data that we have is given in a text file. Here it is. It contains three columns, time, displacement, and force. And they all start from zero, which is important. At the time, the start of an abacus simulation, the time, displacement, and force is typically zero, too. The last line here is also important. This is what we need to mimic in our abacus simulation. We, we're going to come up with this abacus simulation that represents the physical test that was done. So it took 0 0.7 second and, um, seconds, and the um, displacement at the end was 0 0.261. Um, so that's what we're going to try to create. So the first step here is to create the abacus model of this particular specimen that, that was used. In order to have a model of that, I'm going to just walk you through this uh, finite element setup using abacus CAE uh, here. And there's only one uh, part. It's called specimen. It has a, a node set for the bottom, a node set for the top. The bottom I will hold fixed, the top I will move upward to the amount that was recorded in the experimental test. I have one material, as you can see, if I double click on this one, we'll see that the material is a very simple, basic material. Uh, it's a linear elastic material, and that actually has to be linear elastic for this to work with M calibration. M calibration will look at the abacus generated file and substitute the one material model that is linear elastic. So that's the, the text that it will remove and put in the actual material model that you want to calibrate. So make sure it's linear elastic. It doesn't matter what properties you give it, but it has to be linear elastic. Um, that's the property. Uh, the step definition is also important here. We have only one step, but you can have multiple steps if you want that. In this case, we use 0 0.7 seconds, which is exactly what was used in the experiment. We use proper incrementation. You don't want to have too small increments or too large increments. Uh, you want it to run quickly, but uh, not uh, with too coarse of a time step either. So this will give you uh, about 70 increments for this to run on Abacus. So that's pretty good. It runs pretty quick using Abacus standard. Um, we also have to think carefully about the output. For this to work, we need to have a history output that Abacus generates. And there will be only one output in this case, and that is for the, uh, the top grip. We're outputting the force, as you can see here, and the displacement of the top grip of those uh, that node set at the top. And that's something that M calibration will look for and fix for and extract for us from the simulation. Um, so that's the, the history output that we will use. And um, we don't have an interaction. The load, uh, as I talked about, or like this, the bottom held fixed, the top moved upward. This is important that we make sure that we move the top node set just like it was done in the experiment. Here it says that displacement was 1, but we have a load amplitude, uh, a displacement amplitude called, called LAMP. So let's take a look at uh, how that uh, amplitude is defined. We see that this amplitude uh, goes from is linearly ramping up to 0 0.7 seconds, and the total displacement is 0 0.261, just like it was in the experimental file we looked at earlier. So that's important that you match those. Um, and then we have a, a job. We create a job. This one we call tension test. I can simply run this. This is a good idea. Before you have M calibration run it, you should make sure that it runs by itself. 
um, on, on the way it's generated to make sure that your abacus file is, is valid and not causing you any problems. So I do recommend that you run that uh, first. So this, this will just run for a few seconds. Uh, it's a very quick simulation. And there it is, it's done. It didn't take that many seconds and it's finished. So that's good. We now have a, a file that we can use from within M calibration. I'm gonna save this CAE file just in case we need to go back to it. And I'll minimize these. And here it is, test, tension test IMP. We don't need to open it or look at it, but there it is. Um, to set this up, now we need to start M calibration. And I already have a a file here that I created for us. And uh, the, the load case is important here. In this case, I only have one experimental test that I'm going to calibrate my material model to. But you can use any number of material tests here. You can have tension, compression, shear. You can have this type of inverse calibration, DMA data, whatever you like. And you can use all of them at once very quickly. So if I double click on this, you'll see that this is a load case type Abacus external solver. So M calibration will call Abacus uh, to solve this for us for this particular load case. But if you add a load cases that are not uh, necessary to call Abacus, they won't call Abacus. So it's, it sort of depends on the particular load case you're interested in. Uh, the way you set this up, first you need to load the experimental file, and I already done that. The file is called experimental data uh, txt. You read that in. That's all just the way you, the way you read in experimental data in general. Then you need to specify the Abacus IMP file. You click Select Abacus IMP file, and uh, I did that. And it has the link here to the Abacus IMP file, which is the file we just generated from CAE. Then there are a few things at the bottom that are important. It asks you how many CPUs you want Abacus to use to run this. I just picked one. It's such a small model, so few elements, that it doesn't really make that much difference if I use one or more CPUs. So I pick one. And then it asks what material should be replaced. Um, in, the, in the material model, uh, in the abacus simulation, you can have multiple materials if certain regions of your specimen are different and you already know properties of some of them. This is just the material that you want to replace with the material model that M calibration is calibrating. In this case, we only have one. So it's going to, and this is automatically populated for you from the, from the IMP file. And then you need to specify what direction the load and displacement is, is applied. Uh, so it uh, has to be one an ex history output, as I mentioned. In this case, the load and displacement is in the two direction. And that's, that's really all there is to it. You can set up fitness, weights, and plot styles, and this and that, but not necessary. So if I save this, uh, you need to then specify any of the material models that are available within M calibration. In this case, I simply picked the Poly-U mod, Bergstrom Boys mod. And uh, you can then just run this. What's happening now at this point is that M calibration is launching Abacus in the background. It creates a file that contains this, this material definition and it replaces the material definition in the original file, IMP file, with the new one. And it runs that for us. And uh, since it's an and a full FE simulation, it takes a few seconds to run it. And then M calibration will extract the, uh, the force displacement data in this case from the, the ODB file using a custom created Python file that you don't need to create. Uh, it's done automatically for you. And then it will plot. If you plot in this case, uh, force and displacement by clicking on this icon, you will see that this is what it looks like. Once you run this, uh, the optimization for a little bit, which I have done, you see that the dashed line is the prediction. It's a smooth line. And the blue line is a little bit more noisy. That's the experimental line. And uh, it's fully automatic. So, so this is how you can calibrate a material model using an abacus simulation of some type of experiment using M calibration. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. And it works very well. It's a little slow, uh, so I wouldn't do this unless uh, that's the only uh, solution for me. But it doesn't require any Python scripting, so that's very nice. You don't need to worry about that. And this will be up and running for you very quickly. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and let me know if you have any questions.